Cattlemen today have so many tools they can use to improve their operations and their profitability. The advances have been tremendous in the areas of genomics and genetics. And joining us now in the studio is Dr. Kent Anderson with Zoetis Genetics, and he's here to talk to us more about those advances. First of all, Dr. Anderson, you have always been such a huge sponsor of Cattlemen's College. Why is Cattlemen's College so important to Zoetis and the industry? Well, Kevin, Zoetis, of course, is committed to providing producers with production solutions that encompass animal health, uh, feed additives, reproductive products, and now also genetics. And those solutions are getting more advanced all the time, and Cattlemen's College provides such a wonderful forum whereby we can help to get the word out about the new solutions and the new technologies to producers such that they can take advantage of them and, and help their bottom line. And you're going to be giving a presentation on genomics, I understand. Give us a little bit of a sneak preview of that presentation. Well, as, as you know, Kevin, bull buying is a real heritage of uh, cow-calf producers and seed stock producers, and it, it's a major event, but it's um, one part art and one part science. And um, so we're gonna have some fun with that during Cattlemen's College, and we're gonna talk about both the art and the science. The art that encompasses all the things that we don't have information for, mm -hmm. but then the science side where we have uh, much more dependable mm -hmm. uh, information now in the form of genomic enhanced EPDs mm -hmm. uh, that really do represent a quantum leap forward in the accuracy and the dependability of the predictions we have on young bulls before they ever have calves. Yeah, and, and so tell us just a little bit about some of the latest technology you all are working with as it relates to, to genomics and genomically enhanced DPDs. Zoetis is really fortunate to work with a, a great set of partners. Mm -hmm. um, so we work with the American Angus Association and mm -hmm. specifically Angus Genetics, Inc. And we've, doing, we've been doing this for several years now. We integrate high density 50K marker technology. So mm -hmm. believe it or not on this chip, there's 50,000 markers that we can derive for an animal. Wow. And with our partners at Angus Genetics, Inc., we blend all that marker information with the time-tested pedigree and performance and progeny data to come up with EPDs with the maximum accuracy possible. Matter of fact, over the 18 traits that are covered by genomic enhanced EPDs right now, it's the equivalent of having um, anywhere from a half a dozen to more than 20 calves wow. whose records would have traditionally been needed to get the same level of accuracy uh, that we now can achieve with the marker information. That's powerful technology as you think about the ability to just improve uh, cattle quickly. And uh, now we've been talking a lot about the bull side of the equation, Kent. Tell us a little bit about the female side of the equation. Well, Cattlemen's College is going to be fun because we'll have live animals, both bulls as well as females, and we'll, um, we'll be conducting a learn-by-doing type workshop again to blend the art and the science, mm -hmm. the visual and the, the new information. And it's my great pleasure to be working with Dr. Jerry Lipsy. Right. Dr. Lipsy's going to talk about the female side of the equation. And we're going to have a good debate about buying bulls versus making your progress through um, heifer selection. Mm. And um, it should be a fun, fun, informative session with a lot of take-home things that producers can immediately apply to the coming spring 2014 bull buying season as well as the selection of their replacement heifers. Uh, during this time when we are in such great need of expanding and rebuilding uh, the current cow inventory in this country. Sounds like an outstanding session. I hope to be in the front row there. Well, you're welcome, and we'll be happy to have you. Again, that's Cattlemen's College set to take place at the Cattle Industry Convention in Nashville on February 4th. Find out more at beefusa.org.